Ivan IV Vasilyevich, also known as Ivan the Terrible, or Ivan the Furious in a less common translation, was the first Tsar of Russia, reigning from 1547 to 1584. He is one of the most controversial and complex figures in Russian history, known for both his extraordinary achievements and his brutal, autocratic rule. His reign marked the transition from the medieval Grand Duchy of Moscow to the centralized Tsardom of Russia, laying the foundations of the Russian Empire. Early life and ascension to power. Ivan IV was born on August 25, 1530, in Kolominskoy, near Moscow, to Vasily III, Grand Duke of Moscow, and Elena Glinskaya. His childhood was marked by tragedy and political turbulence. When Ivan was just three years old, his father died, leaving the young boy as the nominal ruler. His mother, Elena, acted as regent but died mysteriously in 1538, likely poisoned by rival factions vying for power. Left an orphan, Ivan grew up in an atmosphere of violence and intrigue. The boyar class, a powerful aristocracy, manipulated the young prince, using him as a pawn in their struggles for control. This chaotic and traumatic environment profoundly influenced Ivan, fostering a deep-seated mistrust of the boyars and a penchant for cruelty. In 1547, at the age of 16, Ivan was crowned as the first Tsar of all Russia. The title Tsar was derived from Caesar, symbolizing his authority as a supreme ruler and signaling Russia's ambition to be recognized as a successor to the Byzantine Empire. This coronation marked the beginning of a new era in Russian history. The early reforms. Building a centralized state. Ivan's early reign was characterized by significant reforms aimed at consolidating power and modernizing the state. Under his leadership, a new code of laws, the Sudebnik of 1550, was introduced. It streamlined the judicial system, reduced corruption, and strengthened the central authority. Ivan also convened the Zemsky Sober, a form of proto-parliament, which included representatives from different social classes. This assembly was a revolutionary step toward a more inclusive governance system, albeit still firmly under the Tsar's control. The military was another focus of Ivan's reforms. He established the Streltsy, a standing army of musketeers, which became a critical force in Russian military campaigns. These reforms allowed Ayod Ivan to create a more centralized and efficient state apparatus, reducing the influence of the boyars and increasing his control over the vast Russian territories. Expansion of the Russian Empire One of Ivan the Ford's most notable achievements was the expansion of Russian territory. His reign saw the conquest of the Khanates of Kazan, 1552, and Astrakhan, 1556, which had been remnants of the Mongol Golden Horde. These victories not only secured Russia's eastern frontier, but also opened up the Volga River for trade and further expansion. The conquest of Siberia began during Ivan's reign, led by the Cossack leader Yermak Timofeyevich. This marked the start of Russia's eastward expansion, which would eventually make it the largest country in the world. These territorial gains significantly enhanced Russia's power and prestige, transforming it into a major Eurasian empire. However, not all of Ivan's military campaigns were successful. The Livonian War, 1558 to 1583, aimed at gaining access to the Baltic Sea, ended in a costly failure. The war drained Russia's resources, weakened its economy, and exposed its military vulnerabilities. Despite initial successes, Ivan's forces were ultimately defeated by a coalition of Poland-Lithuania, Sweden, and Denmark. The Oprichnina, Reign of Terror. Perhaps the most infamous aspect of Ivan's rule was the establishment of the Oprichnina in 1565. This policy divided Russia into two parts, the Oprichnina, under Ivan's direct control, and the Zemshina, governed by the boyars. The Oprichnina was enforced by the Oprichniki, a brutal secret police force loyal to the Tsar. The Oprishniki carried out a reign of terror, targeting the boyar class and any perceived enemies of the state. They seized land, executed thousands, and spread fear throughout the country. One of the most notorious events during this period was the sacking of Novgorod in 1570, where thousands of citizens were killed and the city was devastated. The Oprichnina had profound consequences for Russia. While it temporarily consolidated Ivan's power and crushed opposition, it also led to widespread economic decline, depopulation, and social instability. The constant fear and violence created a climate of distrust that weakened the fabric of Russian society. Personal tragedies and the legacy of paranoia. Ivan's later years were marked by personal tragedy and increasing paranoia. 
His beloved first wife, Anastasia Romanovna, died in 1560, possibly poisoned by the boyars. Her death deeply affected Ivan, who became even more erratic and ruthless. In a fit of rage in 1581, Ivan struck his eldest son and heir, Ivan of Evanovich, with a staff, killing him. This act of filicide left the Tsar devastated and ensured that his less capable son, Fyodor I, would inherit the throne. Fyodor's reign was weak, leading to a period of political instability known as the Time of Troubles after Ivan's death. Ivan's Death and Historical Legacy Ivan IV died on March 18, 1584, while playing chess. His death marked the end of a turbulent and transformative era in Russian history. Ivan's reign left a mixed legacy. On one hand, he centralized the Russian state, expanded its territory, and laid the foundations for its future imperial power. On the other hand, his brutal methods and paranoid rule inflicted immense suffering on his people and left a fractured society. Historians continue to debate Ivan's legacy. Some view him as a visionary ruler who strengthened Russia and set it on the path to greatness. Others see him as a tyrant whose reign of terror caused irreparable harm. What is certain is that Ivan the Terrible remains one of the most fascinating and enigmatic figures in Russian history. Ivan the Ford's reign was a pivotal period that shaped the course of Russian history. His combination of visionary leadership, military ambition, and ruthless autocracy left an indelible mark on the nation. Ivan's story is one of contrasts, a ruler who could be both a reformer and a despot, a unifier and a destroyer. His legacy, like his epithet terrible, which can also mean formidable or awe-inspiring in Russian, continues to inspire both fear and fascination.